Warning, parental guidance is advised. Yeah, I, I know being defiled is like a big fetish in Japan. <laughs> Only in self-defense, though. <laughs> Only in self-defense. <laughs> What, like, it's defiled big... as in, like, they take your file from the file cabinet go and back... throw it in the bin? We should go yeah, back yeah. to the, uh, the, uh, the towel comment, Jason. <laughs> well, yeah, we know, there's a guy who we, uh, we, we know of. Who we don't know him in real life, but we know him on a, on a server. And he, asked, he, he posed the question, is it okay to rape someone in self-defense? <laughs> 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 right. Now... <laughs> <laughs> so, so first, guy, f- first so of all, first so a of guy all, guy tries to punch me, so I just pull his trousers down, and fuck him up. The <laughs> what, what, what got me right? Starting like, off the new year if right, someone's, guys. If, if someone's Starting like, off the new year. If right. someone's holding, a, <laughs> if someone's holding a knife to your back and you've got them to <laughs> position where you can rape them, I'm pretty sure you're already safe from being just, stabbed. Just self defense by skull fucking. Now, 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 here's here's the better question. Happy right? New Year, everyone. Here, here's the better Go question, it. which was posed by uh, posed by one of our good friends, right? Uh, which good friend is this? Which was good it, friend is this? You know which one. Chuck, Chuck we will not, we will Chuck not uh, okay. expose him. Um, so, so. Oh, okay. I know he. he yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he posed the question: What if uh, they're raping you first, and then you turn the tables and rape them? Is that is that okay? I saw a video or online it, with that. Or or is it now consent because you both want to have sex? No. There was a no. video on X videos. There was a... Where was <laughs> right, like, okay, go uh, on. X-rated wrestling. X-rated wrestling. A man and a woman. And the okay. man had the upper hand, had her up against the turnbuckles. And then, like, she reached down and just squeezed his testicles until he gave up. And then <laughs> she pegged him. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Wrestling is like a big thing with Paul. I don't know why. It's like two people that are like, hey, let's wrestle. Because real wrestling is like people. And then they and then they kick. just so like they it, like it devolves into fucking. It certainly got weird when the the fake cock came out. The fake cock. Yeah. Can we just move on from this, please? <laughs> no, I want to hear more about the fake cock. It was probably just a fucking strap on, Jason. It was look, a strap. Look up videos online. Oh, right, you need to get okay. used to it. I, I really am. Amazing HD quality on 1080p, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the future is now. <laughs> so last year was the underlying. It was the uh, paedophile, and this year is going to be rapists. Yeah, ra- <laughs> rapists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we've gone up market. <laughs> we've <evolved. laughs> we, we've evolved. Evolved. come under. We've been upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's a branch, isn't it, yeah. of the same species? A branch of... <laughs> we've, it's, we've a subgenre, bran- it's a subgenre of rape. We've branched out of paedophilia. <laughs> a child rapist to just rapist. Yeah. What's uh, worse than a rapist? A child. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the world of tomorrow. Welcome to season two of the tripod. Hello, welcome. There to the tripod. First, there was a first season? Yeah, yeah last, last year was the first season. Available on Netflix now. <laughs> look, look our, our, our end goal in life is to get a Netflix series. Hello and welcome It'd to the like tripod, tripod, the show boys. that blows your girlfriend. Oh. I'm Ashley, nice to meet you. I, uh, is it the show that blows the cobwebs off your mum's fanny? Your girlfriend's fanny, because she's not giving you any. It's the show that's about to blow your dick. She was like about ba- to blow my dick. Like Baby J. About- <laughs> my dick was out. Like, Ugh! my dick was out. And she just uh. went. She just went. <laughs> give you a dry head. <laughs> and we're back. Hello, my name's Jason. I didn't introduce or myself. Or Talisa. Well, I'm introducing myself. Okay, Jason, go for it. Who's I'm this? I'm back. It's 2018. Talisa. Dan's Talisa slapping a cock on his face. <laughs> all is Red all is, is normal. Garrigan? I've missed this, guys. Oh. I've. I've <laughs> I've missed this. <laughs> <laughs> I've had zero sleep, so that's fine. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. Carry on, Jason. Yeah. Thank so, you. Uh, so, I hope everyone had a good year. I had a decent new year. I didn't. Uh, it was a shit year last year in general, but a yeah. uh, good, good new year, you know? Good the only one of us so that far. had a good year last year was Dan. Well, at the end at least. Good end half of the year. End quarter. It was a bit of a meh year. End but ten then, days yeah. of the year, from like oct- end of October to the end, it was just yeah, just a absolute. Did I go turnaround. to Scotland the year last year or the year before? 
the year I can't before, remember. I think it was. No, I think it was last year. I know it was last year. Yeah, no, it was yes. early last year. Yeah, we went to that wrestling no, event. Mid, in yeah, mid yeah, yeah, Leicester yeah. was it? Yeah, Leicester. And then, yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. before that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Did you like Scotland? It's lovely. It is lovely. Didn't like the company, but <laughs> Scotland itself was really nice. Oh. We went to the uh, we went to the town that had the you know the statue of like Desperate Dan and all that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, went shit, there. that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's one Desperate Dan. There's many of the minks, all the sort of Bash Street kids characters oh. and all that. It's really cool. another good thing. Well. Oh, it's, it's good for us because we know he's safe. My granddad's moved in with us. Yay. Oh, nice. So, um, yeah, we're looking after him. But uh, sad to say, my, my nan passed away. I'm very sorry. Um, so it's a shame we couldn't get both of them back down to Peterborough. Yeah. yeah. But the positive is we can have good memories with my granddad while yeah. he's still here. I'm so. sorry to interrupt, Dan, but you need to introduce yourself. Oh, yeah, I do as well, don't I? It's Dan, the man. But you've not even introduced yourself. Oh, yeah. You've not, Hi, done, I'm you've not done the pause for effect. I did. You didn't? Yeah, I did. Did you do try? It's pod? Dan. Yeah. The man that can, if he can be bothered. Ashley. Wait, what? The Cameron. man who can. With a giant wang. With a giant wang. Cameron. Cameron. I'm Ashley. Let's make I... the girls go, dang! <laughs> I'm Ashley. I'm the one that's not as interesting. And to, 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 our, to our right, is it left or right? Right. Paul My right, Dan's Quinton left. cubed. <laughs> Quinton cubed. <laughs> you can't say a second name. Uh, Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We can't, <laughs> can we? Just, Paul, just uh, put a ooh. Paul, yeah, ooh, ooh, cubed. ooh, cubed. Yeah, I'm fine. Mm. I hate Christmas, so let's get, get on with the new year. Well, it's good job this isn't the Christmas episode. It's the Christmas day was birthday brilliant. My episode. Daughter was bro- yeah. yeah, she did really well. Yeah. Nah, that's good. Well done. That's cool, man. Yeah, that's this, cool. this is the uh, this is the birthday episode, not the birthday of the show. The birthday of me and Jason. Oh yes. Yeah. Um. Ash. Uh, well, do you want to? Do you want to? My birthday was on January the fourth. I'm now twenty. Kill me, please. I'm now twenty one, and I don't really feel any different from when I how I felt when I was twenty. But now you can you legally know. drink in America. Oh boy, that'll come in handy whenever I go to America. Yay. Ever. Yay. Yay. But Yay. we booked tickets for an American road show. Oh, yeah. tripod special. Do you want yes, to go, to the, do you wanna go watch? Um, do you want to go to America and go see the Antiques Roadshow Road live? Tripod on the road. That's where we go and molest Dom. <laughs> the Antiques Roadshow is that the American Parliament? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a, uh, that how's was a good one. Fake. That news. was a good one. <laughs> you, <sighs> you monkey. We may have had four <laughs> weeks off, but nothing's changed. No, nothing's we're still. Changed. See, that's idiots. that's it, though. That's that's the perfect. But you're my idiot, thing. and you're my birthday <laughs> idiot. Can we move on, please, Paul? We can indeed. <laughs> no. But it should be a good year this year. Let's make it. A I good think it will. We need to make it. Before we need to make it. Before we go on, did anyone set any New Year's resolutions? No. Yeah, to stop setting New Year's resolutions. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Actually, that's a lie. Uh, no, not really. Yeah, I didn't Just either. try and enjoy the time that I have. It's my uh, so New Year's resolution time. was to try and go on at least five dates this year. And not mention someone that their roots are shown. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah. Mine was to be excellent to each other and have a good I time. I love Bill and Ted. I love Bill and Ted. <laughs> Death was brilliant in that film. I haven't even seen Bill and Ted. Death sounds Next like a segment. good idea. Ha ha! Ha ha! Let's go on with the catch up sesh, except it's not the catch up sesh, it's. Uh, it's time for the tripod yearly review. These are the few of 20, Jason's favourite things. 2017. Basically, ah. the idea of the segment is we're all going to talk about our favourite bits of media and things that we've seen during the year. Yeah. Jake, we'll do, we'll do one in time. So you start, then me, then Dan, then me, then. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Do, do no, I'm going to take quite a fucking while for each one. Shit. For yeah, yeah. You're right. you doing one at a time. So you do, you do one, Dan does one, I do one, Paul does one, then back around. Oh right, okay. Yeah. okay. Is that good? So, so what are we doing first? Are we doing like our favorite? Anything. TV? Let's just just anything. So highlights of the of twenty seventeen. So it could be things that we've seen. Yeah, it didn't um, have to come out this year as long as you've seen it. This yeah, year. Things that have happened to but us. We, uh, we do one at a time, so we take it in turns. Okay, so you start anything you like. A highlight of the year for me was that this year was the first year that I I started paying attention to. Uh, uh, Chinese cartoons in in excruciating detail. Anime, anime, um, anime. And uh, as a result, so I figured. I'm unfortunately, I've been, I've been banned from making any jokes on the matter, so I'm going to keep quiet. Anime uh, glitter cock. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's this week's episode title. There you Is go. it? Yeah. I, thought, I thought it was Greenpeace uh, Fanny. Green that, was never, that was never said on the podcast, though. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so anime <laughs> glitter cock. Anime glitter cock. That's the name now. Yeah. So, uh, so. I um, 
So yeah, I I, I started watching the seasonal uh, shows as they come out. Anime is a bit weird in how they do it. In the West, they sort of like tend to push out shows when they're done, and that's it. In Japan, they put out like like three hundred shows a year, hmm. and there's like I think they're around slitting, they're put into um, seasons. Yeah, there's four seasons: uh, the winter season, then spring, summer, and fall. Which one's your favorite? Is it favorite? fall or autumn? Is which it one's my favorite? Uh, the one which I think had the best uh, shows in fall this time was the winter season. Really? Okay. Yeah, Lord of Fall. It makes sense because it's that time of year where it's cold. It's, it's autumn. Mm-hmm. Nights are longer. It's the it's based on the American uh, season. That's why all the decent That's shows come out. Just no, they call it fall. They couldn't remember because the leaves so, fall down. Yeah, because yeah. the idiots went. Uh, it's when the leaves fall off the tree that time of year. <laughs> That's why yeah. they called it fall. <laughs> it's why like things like The Walking Dead and that start at that time of year mm. because they you didn't don't know how to pronounce autumn because there's too many U's in it. Yeah, the freezing cold shrinks things. It's also got an M and an N, and that confused them. Okay, Jason, tell us what your favourite anime okay, was. Okay, so, so like some, some, notable, some notable things this year. Uh, there was Yuju Senkei. Sen- Senkei, Senki. Just give us like a little tiny brief. Panky, Sarko panky, Tanya panky. the panky. Evil. Tanya the Evil Which is, is a good. story about like a little a little 11-year-old German girl who uh, who it joins Hitler. the army uh, in an alternate universe where World War I had uh, magic. And wizards roam the battlefields. I said short. Basically, it's Lolly Hitler the anime. No, it's not Lolly Hitler because it was World War One, and Nazis were not around in World War One. Yeah, Get it Kaiser right. Wilhelm. You Hitler fought in World fucking... War One. <laughs> Hitler was probably taking crystal meth during World basically, War One. Basically, we don't. Um, know. Basically, it's it's not technically like the thing. the The eleven year old girl is actually a forty two year old uh, businessman from Japan who was a ruthless oh, guy, fuck. a sociopath who like. Just did what he did to get through the work. That reminds then, me of that film Orphan, where then, the girl ended up being like thirty something. Then, then one day, one day, uh, like a man got pissed off that he got fired and pushed him in front of a train. Just before he dies, he gets an intervention from God, and God is like, "I will save you if you believe in me." And the guy's like, "Well, I don't fucking believe in you. You're not real. I don't think you're real. Why could you be real? You know, if if you were actually God, you'd save me without me pledging my allegiance to you. You sound like a dick. You're not actually God." Uh, and so God's sort of like, okay, well, fuck you. I'll send you back to World War One. I'll make you like an orphan girl in Germany, uh, and I'll I'll throw everything at you so that you die. Uh, and the whole thing is just like this guy trying to prove uh, prove God wrong that he can survive in World War One as like a little eleven year old girl who's really weak and shit, but she's got, like, this ridiculous mind and she can, like, twist it and stuff. It's weird. She's perfect for, for uh, like, a World War environment. She's got that ruthless way of thinking. Okay. Uh, but it's just really funny, like... Uh, she's muggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as far as I'm aware, it's not rapey. It's not rapey at all. In stark contrast to the next one on my list, Scum's Wish... Oh, I know this one. Yeah, you told me about Scum's this one. Wish is about a bunch of teenagers. Is that being... the one where everyone rapes everyone? Uh, no, it's it's the show about teenagers being shitty, horny teenagers. Uh, what like a Japanese version of Skins? Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Even uh, only like more more um, devastating. There are these two main characters who like want to fuck teachers, but they can't fuck teachers because they're students, and the teachers are like you know teachers. Uh, so they decide, okay, we'll fuck each other instead and pretend that uh, we're the teachers. I fucked a teacher assistant role while I was technically <laughs> in sixth form. We've been told the story. <laughs> we, we, know, story. Dan, we know, Dan. We know. Why would that stop you? Why if would she's that hot, stop? stick your dick in her. It's, it's Japan. It's Japan, Dan. Remember this. Yeah, very, very different place. Give her five inches of pleasure. Um, so, but then it sort of gets and a, save bit, the other a bit more reserve. complicated. Uh-huh. Um, there are more characters who come in. And they're like, yeah, I, I have a crush on this guy as well. And because they're fucked up, they sort of bring them into this fucked up thing again. There's like a really uncomfortable scene in a library, which made me feel really fucking like weird. Did someone like, read did a book? You, did it make you feel dirtier than me reading the cat girl anime? It back? made me feel really fucking dirty we'll, and we'll, wrong. We'll cut you on two for now and move on to Dan as I have to go. Yeah, all right. Dan, name so a couple my, things that your favourite this year. My highlights of 2017. Don't forget, you've got more than one. We've got to have more than one go round, so you don't have to do. We've got more than one go round, so you've got some more time to. Well, I'll save the best till last, so I'm going to go for other things. My first highlight would have to be Logan. 
going to the cinema to see Logan. It was a good film, isn't it? That was just an absolutely superb film. We waited for, t- f- we had to wait through two shit Wolverine films to get to a decent one. Yeah, and that was just really, really good. I thought it was a good swan song for Hugh Jackman. Uh, I thought I can't remember the actress who played X twenty three, but she was very talented. She's got a bright yeah. future ahead of her. Um, and yeah, hearing Patrick Stewart say "fuck" was good as well. <laughs> You're going to leave me to fucking die here. Out of the way, sir. It was just brilliant. Another cool. highlight was probably Gardens of the Galaxy 2. Good movie. Trash Panda. Yeah, Trash Panda. I Am Groot. Yep. All those classic memes. Uh, the dancing so. Groot. But I'm thinking he's dangerously becoming like minions. Marvel's minions. Well, in, in on that bombshell, let's quickly move to Paul. Yeah. Yes, well... I only need one pass, really, because 2017 was a shit year for me. And there isn't really highlights. Highlights yeah. meeting you guys. Hey. Oh, go. mate. Uh, oh, yeah. That's, that's about it, really. <laughs> nah, that's cool. When, when was the uh, anniversary of the show? Is it in May? Yeah. May, in it? I won't even be in England for this. You okay, might we'll be. We'll celebrate the January, February, March, April. No, no. April. How are you going? Uh, sort of late April. Aren't you going in February? No, it's been a uh, moved... Uh, so I'm going in April instead. No. Ah. So summer vacation, really, for us. <laughs> Fuck off. That's fair. That's fair. Just, Fuck off, just make sure you bone lots of green peace minge. But green yeah, peace I, minge. I, I, you, you, you find a different way to 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 say minge. Green peace time. gash. It's green peace bush. Green peace, green peace, peace fanny. Green, green peace, peace minge. Green, green peace, peace slits. gash. Green peace cunge. Green peace cullen. Just oh, pretend like you live those so whales. No, I think yeah. no, the only uh, the only thing is I the only TV I watched well the only TV I thought was funny was that Trump became president of America and that would be funny if it wasn't true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. I'm afraid we've only got three years left. Okay, guys. Maybe, I, I blame maybe the not. fucking Simpsons. <laughs> maybe not. I blame Matt Groening. Yeah, Groening. Yeah, because Donald Trump's it groaning. It's, no, it's groaning. Groening. It? Yeah, he 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 stresses that it's groaning. Yeah, I thought it was groaning. It's like. He, he did that episode, and Donald Trump was like, mm, "I could do that." Yeah. No, you can't. Well, no, he did that. He did that because uh, he, oh, the year that episode was released, he tried to be president as well. But he was going for Labour. You know, that, that's to... very touching that you said the highlight of your year is meeting us. Yeah. Because I'll be honest yeah. with you, that was one of my highlights as well. Meeting you. It gives you yeah. something yeah. to look forward to every week. Yeah. It's always yeah. good to make new friends. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Let's go on to my highlights with the first two. I'm going to go for the first one. Is going to be. The favourite show I've seen this year, and that's Punisher. Punisher was fan fucking tastic. Mm. It was really a return to form from Marvel because yeah. Defenders and, I, and uh, Iron, Iron Fist was shit. Was Luke Cage was not very good, and Defenders was awful. Yeah. Um, Daredevil season one was good, but Daredevil season two was a bit lacking, other than Punisher. And Punisher, it really, he really um, went back to his roots as a character. Really, kind of followed what the character should be. Mm-hmm. It had some interesting ideas in the show, and it wasn't too political. Yeah. With what it was doing, which it very easily could have fallen into. Uh, also incredibly gory and really, really good. Mm, mm. And my second favourite is uh, the Emoji Movie. No. <laughs> the Emoji Movie. No. Oh. A fucking awful film. Uh, no, second favourite is probably um, The Disaster Artist. Boy. Oh, man, that was a good film. That was a good, was a good, good end film. to the year. That was just... That was a good film. That was a great way to cap off the year. I um, think it I think, I think, I think the final glimmer of hope. I was kind of disappointed with the fact it got a Golden Globe for comedy when it wasn't really a comedy film. I think it gave a brilliant spotlight to Tommy Wiseau. I think he yeah. deserves that. He finally got Seeing He the, finally got an invitation yeah. to the Golden Globes. Yeah. Which like, he was wanted. so happy about that. Seeing how passionate he was about the mm. film, The Room, he deserves. He deserved to have that film done hmm. about him However, because he just seems like a really nice said, guy. I will, re- I will repeat what I said last week and or last episode and say I can no longer watch the uh, the bedroom scene, the sex scene, without <laughs> feeling awkward. What fucking the belly button? Yeah, I hit. I aim where I aim. Just shoot the scene. God, your body's so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and Jason, your second run. Okay, so uh, then uh, I'll try and go through these real quick. Uh, Main the abyss. Fucking love Made in Abyss. It's like an adventure thing, but it if gets really anime. horrifying. I'm going through my anime, and okay. I'm going through other shit. Okay, I was going to do Ash. just the anime, and then Ash. another one, but you cut me Shh. off. I'm Let sorry. Jason Continue. Talk. Made in Abyss was horrifying, but it was good horrifying. It was very entertaining. And there's a new season coming out this year, so 
if you like, I um, like a maiden's if, abyss. If you like, if you like, ten-year-olds uh, being like traumatized and having their la- their arms will be broken and, and shit. Hell yeah! Uh, then get ready to watch that. That's coming out. Uh, Akiba's trip. Coming. The animation. Hey. Ash knows exactly what I'm talking about here. Do you um, know who else the is coming out? Of the animes. Let Let me ask you a question, guys. Uh, when you when you think of the premise of a video game, right? A video game where you run around uh, Akihabara and strip people uh, to free demons from their souls. Like, do you, do you think that could be turned into a good premise for a TV series? No. No. Well, it was. Well, you were proven wrong by Studio Gonzo when they made Akiba's Trip the animation at the start of the year. Because they took that idea, and instead of trying to go all serious with it, they just went balls to the walls insane. The first episode was like, yeah, okay, we've got, we've got a premise. And then they just decided to use the rest of them to shit on every other, like, series ever I made. I liked the Street Fighter episode. I like, Yeah, I liked the Street Fighter episode. They, ran out, of, just um, like, they uh, ran out of money halfway through making the series. They just did an episode where half the footage was from the new Street Fighter game. <laughs> there was another one which, uh, which took on wrestling. They did yeah, a wrestling oh, yeah, episode. Yeah. There was a Yu-Gi-Oh episode where the main uh, the, character The wrestling was... episode was like, oh, um, we're going to have this serious martial arts competition and it pans out to the arena and it's just a fucking wrestling ring. <laughs> like, one of them comes out wearing ring, a luchador yeah. mask and stuff. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> nice. Uh, the, final, the final boss uh, at the end of the series was a, was a parody of Evangelion as well, which was just brilliant. Who's in Evangelion? Evangelion you know. is an anime. It's one of the most famous animes of all time. It's really good. Getting the mech Shinji. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I, I just thought it was brilliant. It was really funny. funny. Uh, very worth it. And, uh, Brandon liked it as well. I mean, yeah. Jimmy, sorry. And I really <laughs> hope, I really Jimmy? hope I don't know, I it gets a second season. One of my 2017 highlights was Jimmy. Yeah. Me too. Uh, and then finally, Boku no Hero Academia, second season, was very good. Oh. And that's, that's Japanese X-Men. It's My Hero Academia, right? Yeah, my hero academia. Sorry, Japanese. So whenever, X-Men. whenever I hear someone start a sentence with Boko now, I'm like, oh, yeah, shit, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> Jason, no. Japanese X Men. Uh, they had they had this villain called well, Stain. Whereas, whereas the other Boko is Japanese semen. Ja- oh, 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 oh. No, please, no. Oh. You know, you know. If I oh. was like Professor Xavier, I'd be Professor Cameron. You'd be my semen. Uh, Dan, is it, wait, what else you got to say? Okay, I I have to talk about games real quick. The end is nigh. Favorite game probably of last year. Yep, really fucking enjoyed it. It is uh, Edmund McMillan's uh, design philosophy truly on form and on display. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rich Evans did a good job as Ash, uh, just screaming fuck all Someone the time. Played you, and yeah. Uh, and yeah, it was really good fun. And a hat in time was brilliant. I kickstarted that. Five years ago, I'm very. You kickstarted it yourself. I kickstarted it. Yeah, yeah. A hat in uh, time is it to do with your delightful it's like, flat cap? No, it's like um, it's like Mario sixty four or Banjo Kazooie or something. Oh, okay. Come yeah, yeah, it's a revival of that. Oh. Uh, but it plays more like a, a PS two platformer than it does a N sixty four, which is especially good for me because I grew up with the PS two platformers, so I feel PS2, really attached to PS two to that. me, hands down, was one of the greatest consoles ever made. Yeah. So, so anything that sort of throws back to that. That's my jam. And so I was so happy with that. What other games do you have, Jason? What other games do I have? Well, those are the those are the two Winks. those were the two notable ones. I'm, I'm just gonna mention music real quick, Wine and then sweet. we can That's get fine. off this. So, music, big big notable bands I got this year. Uh, I got into Tame Impala. Mm-hmm. Fucking love Tame Impala. Yep. They are good, very yes. good. Cool. Uh, Primus is probably my biggest pickup of the year. Okay. Uh, I, I have no idea how I managed not in to get the into it. They are the people who do the South Park theme. They're the people who do the South Park theme. They do other really weird music. I was talking about their music video uh, last time uh, of Mr. Crinkle, which is just oh, like a single yeah. still shot of, of Les Claypool in a pig suit playing a double bass while crazy shit happens behind him. Nice. And like it's the it's this kind of shit all through. It's just really good like bass music and shit. He's he's really good at playing the bass. They make good melodies. Uh, does, he, I does he slap the bass? He fucking slap slaps. The bass. Oh, he slaps. He slaps hard. How can she slap? How can she slap? He slaps that bass. Uh, I so mean, you're telling me he holds a fish and slaps it against the table. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. That's I know a it's a bass. You fool. I, I would not be surprised. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Ash listened to it and he thought he was too weird for him. It was too weird. Which, I didn't like it. Which I can understand because it's it's it is a niche thing. Which is strange because I like weird music. 
Yeah. So so it depends really, but I'd I'd recommend it to anyone. I've got to really. go forward and say a couple of things as well about stuff I liked this year. If that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I played fully. What about me. Oh, sorry, Dan. You no, can go you after me. On. No, you can't. I played fully uh, Spec Ops Online for the first time ever, Ooh. and that game is fucking fantastic. Very mm-hmm. old game now, but it's sincerely so, so good. Like, it yeah. plays with the whole idea of, um, I can't yeah, really like say it without spoiling, like, uh, video games as a concept, I guess, like, how... It's like the glory of shooting you just, games. You just do anything yeah. the game tells you to do, and I can't really say more than that without spoiling, because you should play it if you get a chance. Okay. Uh, music, I... Oh, fuck. I, I started listening to... Um, Okay, go again this year. Uh, but I've really, really got into them because of that music video. Uh, this one moment. Remember yeah, that's moment? that's the that's the slowed down one. Yeah, right? they recorded the whole video in uh, music video in five seconds, then slowed it down like a hundred times to make the whole music video. It's fucking impressive. It's and they, fucking they, did, amazing, they did a music video actually. where they were see, driving around see in a car it. and having like bits dangling off the car, hit instruments that were like around the track they were driving around. It played the song as they were singing in the car. Hmm. But that, like was, that. that was their recording of the song as well. Yeah. Like, um, the, the, they're the people who, I don't know if you've heard them from this, but they're the people who did the video of them on the treadmills dancing. Oh, yeah, yeah. The same band. Yeah, yeah. they do really fucking, like, crazy music videos. Yeah. They did this one with, uh, like, um, they went to Japan, they got, like, these really advanced uh, segways that you, like, sit on and you just move yeah. forward and, and lean and shit. And they got, like, I think around 200 people or, yeah. or plus on these segways to do, like, a giant choreograph thing. I like they did. They've done uh, one that a, did like a with a ceiling wide uh, uh, thing. full of Rube Goldberg machine that goes from like a pebble to a car. Movie. I like the illusions one. The illusions one, uh, writing on the wall. That's a good song. Mm. Uh, the bit where the guy shaves his face in like two seconds, like <laughs> a, a scene. There's a guy who has this massive beard and he just shaves half of his face halfway but through. But like he's 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 off camera. They do they do everything in one take in that band. Uh, and obviously. Because you've seen him since the beginning, he shaved off the beard really well in like five seconds, or he had the mirror on his face the entire time. Yeah. Um, it, 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 they they do some incredible music. I'm gonna have to show some to you at the end of the show. Also, uh, mm. I got into the avalanches because of Frontier Psychiatrist <laughs> as well. Right at the end of the year. Psycho semantic. The boy needs therapy. <laughs> Dan, what about you? Hmm. I be honest with you. I think 2017 was a shit year for music. That's why all my music was from not 2017. Such a major letdown. I, I wasn't really yeah. introduced to anything new this year. Uh, last year, shall I say. Um, Symphony. That's the only good thing this year, musically. Meeting Ricochet. Oh, Ricochet's such a lovely boy. My hero. My my favourite person in the whole world. He's a really nice guy. Um, mm. That was a highlight for me. A picture taken Ricochet, actually. In 2017. Facebook. Yeah. It's, um, he's just an easygoing guy. Just you, what you see is what you get. Isn't he's not got a bad attitude? Um, sadly, he's signed for WWE, so that's Rest his career his going career, shit's yeah. Full, yeah. Um, and also, most importantly, and you know what I'm going to say, I met someone. Yeah, he got a girlfriend, and things are going really, really well. And I'll tell you one thing: it's <laughs> not going to be released until <laughs> this year. Yeah, but that new game. Which has got Norman Reedus in. Uh, that's oh, the Death, Death Stranding. Stranding. Stranding yeah. That trailer, it's weird as shit. Fucking awesome. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's weird as shit. The what? The one with the baby in that his was... esophagus that like does the thumbs up. Yeah, like yeah. Kojak. <laughs> Who loves it? Does look. Baby. Well, it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be Silent Hills, wasn't it? Mm. Like that. That the demo. I think it basically is just Silent the Hills. The demo. The P- PT was fucking amazing. But mm. I, I honestly think that's going to be fucking amazing. Oh, can um, I just give a quick mention yeah. to um, how fucking fantastic and such a great return to form Resident Evil 7 was as well. Yes. That was shit. No, it wasn't. It was so good. It was it really wasn't good. a Resident Evil game. It wasn't, it Resident, wasn't Evil a Resident game. Evil game, but at the same time, I don't think Resident Evil can survive in this in, like, in this game's no. industry at the it moment just, anymore. It was just a very good survival horror game. Yeah, That's so what I think of it shouldn't called Resident Evil. But that way they can keep the name and it, they can not it's like, sell it it's to like, it's, like the only the... Way, it's the only way they could sell it, right? Yeah. It's the only way they could reboot the franchise. They they could not do like a, an actual Resident Evil the, game anymore. The problem anymore, was Resident think. Evil Six not for was another, so like, bad it, com- it completely removed all value from the Resident Evil name. So they had to release a good game, even if it wasn't necessarily a Resident Evil yeah. game, it because was, it was just a good like game. it was a good game. It's a good game. Do you just not That's like survival? Do you just not like yeah. playing VR? Right. Play I'm not. I'm, I'd rather play Remy the Koi Porn VR. Oh, I'm sure you would. Than than that piss. 
No, it's trust like, me. It's like when they bring out Need for Speed games. They're burnout games. They're not Need for Speed games. Oh, God, no, 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 games. no. No, 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 no. For the speed last was, decent no. Need for Speed was Need for Speed Most Wanted. That the thing was a with, fucking classic game. The thing with um, Resi 7 is it, it does it, it does bring in some of the elements from old Resident Evil games. My hopes for 2018, but the you know, people like, that make games like Call of Duty and stuff like that go bust. And we won't get mean, any more Call of Duty. But they are, they are losing money. They Good. are, true. The uh, the games are selling less. Mm-hmm. Good and with good reason because they they're just it's like not the FIFA good. of first person yeah. shooters. My hope for twenty eighteen is uh, Take Two goes back on their promise of not releasing any single player DLC. D- 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 and I'm hoping that there's actually going to be some decent hip hop this year. Yeah, because last year was shit. Yeah, I do. Even I d- Eminem's album was a major disappointment. I do have to say. Um, and Justin Timberlake's new album comes out on the second of February. <laughs> I, I, I do have to say uh, that smooth motherfucker. Thanks to thanks to all you guys here, mm-hmm. I have expanded my music horizons. My musical yes. horizons. At Good. the start of the year, I listened to ska and rock and punk and metal. And now he listens to smooth jazz. And now I listen to a lot more metal. I listen to uh, I listen to some rap. I don't know how it happened, but Sweet. I listen to some rap. Uh, Did you uh, get that album? I'll give you that rapecore hip hop album. Rapecore. Yeah. It's a, it's a subgenre of hip hop. Oh yeah, no, it. I haven't, I haven't yet. I've started it. The the, the music samples like screams. Let's well, move on. Being attacked. <laughs> Let's just move on to the next segment, guys. Uh, uh, I don't think that's being attacked. Uh, <coughs> music, but like wow, el contor, hello, el contour, el contour, el contour. So sorry for. Godzilla, Godzilla, el contour. <laughs> It's just Ash, a giant Ash going, <laughs> and then Godzilla's like, and <laughs> just describe the place. <laughs> Elicanto smash Godzilla, Godzilla smash Elicanto. Are you done, Ash? <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be wearing a nappy, and you'd get lasers out of your nipples. <laughs> And the contour well, you, laser as you, like, attack. as you like twiddle them. Yeah. Can you turn off his mic, please, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Ash. Okay, Ash. What is it time for? It's time for my segment, Ash's Abyss, which is uh, the <laughs> the mix <laughs> between the stupid uh, the stu- the stupid or strange deaths, <laughs> Ash and Gazzle. um the uh word of the word of the day, flip so flop. I was going or the Ofcom word of the day. Ofcom, sorry, no, B- B- uh, BBS, you know what I mean. Doobry. Anyway, so um, yeah, this Ofcom. one is about a guy, uh, a, a person we know of, because I didn't actually know how he died. I just knew he died in a car-related accident. You know where the guy played uh, Chekhov in the new Star Trek films? Anton Yerkin, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I di- I, it, was on the, it was on the strange list thing, so I can, I can bring it into this, but um, he died hmm. in a car accident, but not in the traditional sense. He was found by his friends, uh, pinned against the wall of his house uh, by his car, uh, his car was in neutral, and it rolled down the hill while he was behind it trying to do something, and it hit him, pinned him against the wall, and killed him. Wow! So nice. he wasn't even driving; he just got hit by his car while it wasn't moving. Always use the handbrake. Yeah, he forgot to put the handbrake on. Basically, was the problem. Why are you clapping? Stupid death! Stupid death! So next time it's not you. And the oh, off word of the day is a slightly is a slightly uh, longer one than normal. Mm-hmm. It is. Uh, the word fuck. Now, picking the, w- the word fuck's a common, fuck. swe- it's a common swear word, you know? But it's, it's interesting how it's used in films, like what, what different situations it can be used in. Like, for example, in a, in a film that's uh, rated 12, it can only be used once in the entire film. Mm. But in a 15, it can be used a certain amount of times, or you could use a stronger swear word once. So you could say fuck a bunch of times, or you could say cunt once. Yeah. But obviously in 18, it's un- un- unlimited how many times you can say it. But if you say it too much, then it could be an unrated film. Which is not a good thing. Like you could say fucking disbelief, fuck, or you could say fuck it as if something bad's happened, fuck. Or in X Men's case, or you could use Wolverine saying if, fuck off. Or if your cock is too big for a woman's pussy, she could go fuck. <laughs> yeah, that exactly. I don't know. But I, I just thought, I just thought the, the the range of different situations and different uses sides. the word the word fuck can like bring on. Rubik's Stop. Get, put your switch away right the fuck now. Oh, let's, let's play some then. Sorry, Jason got a Nintendo Switch and anytime he's slightly bored he pulls it out of his pack even while we're recording a podcast <laughs> apparently I was, I was gonna like I was gonna like collect some dank moons I don't give a fuck 
Some dank so, meat. I, I, was I, about to ask, I was about to ask you a question about the word fuck. Okay, ask me about fuck. So, what, what, what do you think is the... Like, in what situation in the movie do you think would be the worst use of the word fuck? Like, say you, you're making a 12 film. What would be the worst use of the word? A 12 film. Um, well, like... I think that there's three instances that you could see it in, right? Mm-hmm. Which which Dan very uh, very adequately described earlier. Well, a sex the, context, the, an angry context, or a... a yeah, or or the oh fuck, I yeah yeah. So it's either like oh fuck, something's just happened, or fuck you mm-hmm. when you're directing it to someone. I think when you do that, when you're aiming it at someone. It's it's worse. So that would be. I, I, I don't mean worse in like an uh, offensive sense. I meant worse in like a oh that was kind of a stupid waste of the word kind of sense. Oh, in in the waste of a word. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, yeah. I saw I saw a, a post on Reddit about uh, the fuck word the and fuck it being word, used right? in films, and they said if Deadpool ever appeared in an Avengers film. He'd go around the entire film trying to use the only use of the word fuck. He would, he would, wouldn't he? But then he'd always get interrupted last minute, and then it'd be the end of the film, he'd be like, I can finally say it. Uh, and someone goes, what, fuck? And he's like, oh, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah, I, I can imagine I can imagine if Deadpool was in, he would make a yeah. joke about, like, the... Uh, the I can the... only say fuck once. I can only say, oh, shit! Oh, I said it, fuck! Oh, I said it again, shit. Here's another one. Yeah. We're going to mum's tonight. She's making fondue. Fuck. <laughs> it reminds me of one of the ex- extra features off of uh, Informal Alchemist Brothers. Do you know the origin of the word fuck? I do know the origin of the word fuck. Early 16th century of Germanic origin, right? Possibly from an Indo-European root meaning strike, shared by Latin pugnus, fist. Hmm. Fist. And the Etymology word only Dan. started frequently used... In the 1950s. Okay. So, so fuck me, governor. So, so when your girl tells you to fuck them, daddy, then you know what to do. You either you either fist them or strike them. Mm-hmm. Fucking have it. You know. And that's the end of that segment. Moving on, moving swiftly on. Fucking hell. Shambles. Fucking Z9. <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. Bonjour. What, what Should I do doing? my segment? Yes. Yes. Do your segment. Dan Entertain the, the movies. us. Then. It is time for... I need to piss. I'm going to go for a piss while Dan does this. Tripod at the movies with your host. Ash, you take the piss. Dan Cameron. Yeah, no. Dan. You can. Dan, what, what did you go to see? <laughs> went to see Star Wars. Obviously, I went to see Star Wars The Last Jedi. Okay. In the subtitles, Disney is ruining my childhood. <laughs> but <laughs> despite that, mm-hmm. I enjoyed the film. And I entitled this review as Rian Johnson knocked it out of the park using a bit of American terminology there fuck knows what it means but yeah carry on I shall begin well Ash has gone to the toilet because he's a prick right lack bladder lack yeah slack bladder I would be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive going into this film for me the Force Awakens and Rogue One left much to be desired and I wasn't blown away by but blown away by them like I wanted to be when it comes to my beloved stories from a galaxy far, far away. The Last Jedi, though, felt fresh, thought-provoking, and was just an awesome piece of cinematic gold that the film industry has been lacking since the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So without further ado, here's my review of the Star Wars The Last Jedi. Cue the music. Da 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 muggy cunt, da 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 muggy cunt. See if your PO sucks, dick. I hope you're thinking I'm The film begins with the Resistance trying to make their escape from the planet they were based on in the previous film. I couldn't get the name of it, but hey-ho. Being pursued by the First Order, the last remaining Resistance members truly look in a lot of trouble, surrounded by Star Destroyers that visually looked superb. Great use of CGI. We then are shown the planet in which we were introduced to Luke Skywalker at the end of The Force Awakens, where Rey attempts to plead with Luke to come back and help the Resistance. The scenes between Mark Hamill and Daisy Ridley were for me the highlight of the film. 
Hamill was superb as the older disgruntled Jedi Master and Ray showed an enthusiasm that could only be compared to Mark in the original trilogy. Ooh, very nice. Kylo oh. Ren was redeemed in this film as I thought he was portrayed as a little emo and whiny in The Force Awakens. <laughs> in this, he felt like a man possessed, full of aggression as he tried to curry favour with Supreme Leader Snoke and you could see his desire in his attempts to find and destroy Skywalker. Supreme Leader Snoke, portrayed by Andy Serkis, was again superb and I can't stress enough Circus oh. needs an Oscar for his motion capture Wait, work. Wait, Circus? It was Andy, Andy Circus, Circus. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's um, cool. That's good. He, he needs an Oscar. I love Circus. He's great. Because he was good as Caesar as well. Mm. Well, it's funny you mentioned Lord of the Rings because he was Gollum yeah. in that. I'm telling you. It, that's it, how weird. That's how I feel about the Star Wars film. I've not seen anything that's entertained me like that since the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And then uh, you've got General Huck, played by Dom Hall Gleason, was again good. The sibling rivalry between himself and Ren was interesting to watch unfold as Snoke clearly relished this. Poe Dameron, played by Oscar Isaac, could now be classed as my favourite character in Star Wars. Isaac showed passion and aggression that only added to the classic handsome hero pilot that was introduced to us in The Force Awakens. Didn't you not like Poe Dameron before? No, no, I, I, it's Finn that I'm not too keen on. Right. But I'll explain later why. The okay. combat with Ren, Ray, and the Praetorian Guards was superb. Each guard had a weapon unique to each individual, from bladed staffs to dual wield daggers, to a weapon that could only be described as a homage to the light whip in Star Wars Legends, as used by Lemire. Now, it's with every positives, there've got to be a few negatives. Mm hmm. For me, Finn, played by John Boyega, still has a lot to prove. Out of the new characters, he is the weakest of the heroes. There just doesn't seem to be any ideas for him other than comedy relief, which is a shame. Captain Phasma, played by Game of Thrones actress Gwendolyn Christie, is Black in my Arthur, opinion Arthur, to be funny. now can't the be most else. overrated character in the Star Wars universe, overtaking Jar Jar Binks, Qui-Gon Jinn and Count Dooku, which is a pity as Christie is a superb actress in her own right. Can you tell Dan's reading off a script? The Porg. Don't get me wrong, they are undeniably cute and there is a particular scene that they have with Chewbacca that if you don't find funny and adorable, then you are wrong in the head. They are not on the level of Jar Jar Binks irritating, but some of the humorous parts didn't need to be there and felt like they were thrown in for the sake of humour. Yes. Snoke. Although played brilliantly by Circus, this character was built to be the next big bad in the galaxy. Oh, Andy Circus. But as you will yeah. see when oh, you watch well. this film, he was nothing more than like a bit the, part the, piece the, the in Gollum a bigger Andy chess Circus. game. Yeah. Wow, he was cool. like he was like the old man who sits yeah. there and he's like No, nah, it was literally Kylo major come. let down. But I think it's mainly Kylo down come to come on me. I mainly, need you to wipe my bum. It was mainly down to fans hyping him up too much. Mm. It wasn't the f the, the problem with Star Wars fans though. They so, get too excited. In form of a conclusion, I have to tip my hat to Rian Johnson who has took me back to my childhood. Who is directing the new one? Rian Johnson. Oh alright, cool. Um, oh, uh, what, the episode nine And he's getting the next trilogy as well. Where I is honestly, a, where, where next is, trilogy? I'm sorry. So yeah, where, it's going to be another um, trilogy. Where's um, oh, which is AJ, right. where's JJ Abrams going to slide into this? Uh, hopefully, you'll fuck off back to Star Trek oh, and rape and pillage no. that. No, Quentin Tarantino is doing Star fuck Trek. Fuck it, like a hollowed out cantaloupe melon. Oh. So you can tell when Dan's reading. Right, guys, guys, and guys, guys I've got, come on, because the quicker I get this done, the quicker conclusion. we can just like get on with our lives. Nothing. I honestly, <laughs> I honestly think he should direct the next film and possibly the next trilogy. And this was before I found out he was. And should have directed The Force Awakens. No disrespect to J.J. Abrams, but this smashed his film into oblivion and felt more like a Star Wars film. I can't <laughs> praise this film enough. Even though there were slight comparisons to The Empire Strikes Back and The Return of the Jedi, it felt fresh like when you splash cool water on your face on a warm summer's day. Poetic. And that is what this series needed. The film finished in a way that means the next film will have a clean palette to work from, so a rehash of Return of the Jedi will not be forthcoming. Please, please, please see this film if you are a true fan. You won't be disappointed. Story, 9 out of 10. Okay. CGI, 10 out of 10. Acting direction, 9 out of 10. Action sequences, 8.5. I give it an overall 9.4. Cool. So what you're saying is it's better than Rogue One. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like how your point there was, no offence, J.J. Abrams, but you're a shit director. I think he is. I think, I, I think he, he is. I think he can be good with the right direction. I think he's good at it's. It's like George Lucas. He's good at storytelling, but he's shit at directing. Um. Yeah. Didn't Simon Pegg write the the latest Star Trek? Yeah. And it yeah. was dreadful. But uh, the thing oh. with the, the thing with that is, um, I'm he, being I'm he being honest. No, he's not he's not a script writer really. He's a scriptwriter yeah. for comedy films, not for serious films like that. I think with the Star Trek, the latest batch of Star Trek that we're getting, it's just so inferior. You know. 
you know, so, so Ash just said we should get Quentin Tarantino to direct it. I think we should. He, he is. is. He is. He is he, directing he the next is? Star yes. Trek. Yes. yes. That's why so, it, so it, wasn't imagine, a, it wasn't a joke I made. So imagine, imagine like a oh scene from Pulp Fiction, oh, where, yes. but Samuel Jackson's dressed up as a Klingon. Can we, can That's we, a tasty. We on that's that a tasty gag. <laughs> <laughs> do you mind if I wash this down with that woman in ale? What you've got next, there? Next Tell me what please. Worf looks like. Oh, da, go, da, Does it look like a bitch? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> so Jason, <laughs> yes. Um, I, 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 sorry, I've got to speak for a second there. <laughs> I was having a think um, just while I was outside. Right. Um, and did it hurt your brain? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about um, friend day. Yeah. And I was thinking about the, the idea, day. the idea of friends. Like, because for example, with you, I didn't like you when I first met you. If being completely honest. Yeah, I can understand. But I, that. I can, I can't, I can't think of a time, or with Dan even, where I, I turn around and say, "Oh, I consider this person my friend." It just kind of happens. Like, how do you yeah. think that actually sort of comes about? Because it just sort of happens, if you know what I mean. Is this is this our Quentin's quandary? No, no, it's piece? not. It's, it's just a point I want to bring up because because you can't. It's like a, a genuine, serious point. It's like, it's like a natural progression, isn't it? Yeah, um, because I like, mean, for I'll... example, with Lauren. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, the, the, uh, unnamed female. <laughs> It's like unnamed female three. Yeah, uh, but I, I obviously I came into the I came into the shop every now and again, but I can't think of a single time where I could turn around and say, "Oh, I'm friends with this person now," and then it's suddenly just I ended up with a bunch of people it? going yeah, to yeah, her house for dinner. Happens. You know what I mean? Because what what what, what differenti- differentiates between me, for example, and a different customer? Hmm. Or what differentiates between me and Jason and one of his other friends who yeah, yeah. you know who wasn't really friends but just kind of by association? Yeah. What what what? Where where does that difference come from? When does it when does it become from just oh I hang out with this person to this person is actually my See, friend? For it's me, a good question. It can take me up to ten minutes of chatting to someone to know if I'm going to be friends with that person. But it, it's hard, if there's it's, no if there's no connection there, then it's just like trouble mm. is it's, it's and with hard you to guys, say. It was like I thought, yeah, these these guys. There was something about you guys, and I thought these are my boys. These are my boys. Yeah, it's these hard are my to bread, say. my bread bin. It's hard to say my though when, when when the actual friendship thing came around because although, you, although, although no you, yeah. you know you want to be friends with this person, the, the, often the point where you become what you would call friends with them yeah. is completely blurred and you don't. Really I know. think it probably became official when we went to that wrestling event in yeah. with Pat and Graham in Leicester. But even then, it, it's 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 I hard to say. It's hard to say for sure. You know what I mean? If I drank alcohol, I could have a beer with you guys. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I said, after yeah, that yeah. show, what well, I can I can yeah. But you, know, you, you see what I'm, you see where I'm coming from, yeah. this, right? You, you see, I reckon with us, I fell in love with uh, you. I last don't know week, if it was Ash. different to you, but I, I knew you since year eight. But I feel like I actually became friends with you like properly around year ten, because that's when we started talking proper. Was that when I dragged you to uh, youth because you were like, bored and sat at home? Uh, no, that was just before that. I think right. That was that was when I was like uh, doing my. I had like free periods or something, and uh, you were out of stuff as well I, no no you were in year 10 I was but in year Jason, 11 but Jason men don't yeah. have periods so we started like we started like chatting again and then I think that's how we like I think that's how it happens what do you think about this Paul yeah what's your take on it well I, 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 I feel I feel like it's hard to sort of pinpoint the moment I've, yeah. got, I've got a couple of friends who are really I mean really good friends I've known for 47 years that's a long time that's a long ass time but I think you're right it's uh, sometimes you can be with someone you think I don't like this person, but in in a month's time you're going out having beers. You know, it's a chemistry yeah. thing. I think you can definitely tell if you don't like someone really quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're yeah. unlikely to be your friend if you. I think the reason I didn't like Jason at first is because he was uh he was he was very awkward at first. Yeah. It, uh, it's it's not that you're awkward. It's just more that I felt I felt like you preferred to be a loner at the time. I don't know if that was true. I but it's uh, what I got from you. I'd prefer to have a bone. I enjoyed Same. I enjoyed uh, <laughs> a lot more like doing stuff on my own than I did yeah. going out Wafers. with with friends. And it didn't help the fact that I, I definitely was like really awkward. You're not yeah, yeah. you're not like off or anything See, by saying I don't know that. if you'd agree with this, but although I have anxiety, I feel like I'm a very naturally charismatic person. You're like I, Alec Baldwin. Yeah, you, you've I've got. Told you. you you're very. Uh, you're very good at just being able to strike up conversations with yeah. people. I, I like. I was saying the other day about the the girl in Wilco's who had the Skyrim shirt on. I made a reference towards. I'd, I could. I, I'd never do that normally, but it was something I knew about, and I could very easily strike a conversation with that person. Mm-hmm. It's like I think it's why a lot of people think I. Um, 
work where Dan works. I can't say any more than that because we get fired otherwise. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, because uh, obviously I'm, I'm very I'm, fa- I'm fairly charismatic when it comes to that kind of I thing. People will come planet. to me straight away, as opposed oh, to shit, Dan. Else. You're going to lose your job now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he he means the actual Forbidden Planet. Yeah, Mars. He works. I on live. The I, I work at far he away interactions. In <laughs> but no, it, it, sorry, sorry for interrupting you, there, Paul. But yeah, no, yes, just yeah. carry on. No, I just think it, friendships are developed, don't they? They do, they mm. do. True, true friendships. You, I don't think you can meet someone and go, oh, they're going to be my best buddy. It takes a while. Yeah. It definitely yeah. takes a while. I mean, I've, I've had friends for a long time that yeah. I've ended up hating. Well, I, think, I think that's yeah. why I sort of just... It's, it's why with um, Jason... Me, Jason pisses me off a lot. I and I piss, off, I, I piss off Jason a lot. Yeah. I think the thing we connected over was our love of wrestling, wasn't it? Yeah. It was literally... You bullied me in CEX for not knowing about indie wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's true to say that I you... didn't bully you. I was trying to educate you, you... It's true to say that you really don't need many close friends. Yeah, no, yeah, only no. a couple. You only need a couple of. That's why we're friends. the tripod. The fucking tripod. Fucking tripod. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, I, just, I just feel. Yeah, we're saying we are JJ, the Illuminati Jason of podcasts. But that, even when he's done really bad things, there's never been a moment where I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to be friends with this person. When has Jason done anything really bad? Bless him. Yeah, there's, there's been moments. There's been moments. I have my habits. But there's never been anything. There's never been anything where I'd be like, uh, it, it would just be like, okay, I need to cool down for a few days. Never, or I'm not going to be friends with this person. Yeah, and that's that's what I always feel as well. When people ask me, you know, they're like, why, why don't you just not talk to him anymore? And I'm sort of like, no, I still like him. He's still a cool guy. I just, I can't, I can't see him right now. I let can't me, talk to him right now. Let me guess, did Ruby say that? <laughs> <laughs> see, that's, bruh, um, <laughs> bruh. That is, excuse me. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> that is the the true test of any friendship. If you get over the yeah. bad shit, mm. yeah. Do you know what I mean? But then you've got friends where you never get mad at each other. Like me and Dan, I don't think I've ever got mad at you once, really. And I don't think I've ever made you mad either. Nah. You've done stuff that's been annoying, like. But so if, if, it's, it's, never, like, if it's, not, never your, not, it's never been your it's never been your fault that's been annoying. That's, that's going to be natural mm. anyway. Yeah. I've never been actually mad at you. Like yeah. I've been with some friends. Well, friendship is accepting that of each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Accepting their flaws and. Yeah. Enjoying the positives, like the, the so things that have made you become friends in the first place. I feel place. like, um, what was it? Me and me and Ash were friends, like, when we first started talking in, like, year... Eight. Like, year me. 10, 11 or so. Did you start yeah, puberty right. in year 8? But, uh... I said fuck for the first time in year 9. But, like... Fuck! fuck that. <laughs> no, normally. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know a girl who, um... Hi, who my didn't... name's Ash. <laughs> no, I, I, I swore pretty much normally from the moment I started swearing... But I know there's one girl who sw- we heard her swear for the first time in like year ten or eleven. She didn't say bugger, and did she? No, she said fuck. She and didn't say she, Sussex, did when she? she? Swore. Her <laughs> voice just went really unnaturally high pitched. Fuck. That's great. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a certain uh, it was a certain uh, person whose name began with K. I don't I don't know. Blonde hair. Kirk. You didn't like her that much. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Kanye West. Yeah. Kanye. Yeah, exactly. Kanye West. A fucking video. Clip. The uh, the da- prettiest uh, blonde girl in all of England. In all of England. Uh, damn. This 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 um this 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 um segment has been really uh really serious and nice. Can you say something completely fucking abhorrent and disgusting to make it better? No. To derail it because this is nice. Okay, I will. I mean, spunky clunge water. There we go. <laughs> Spangly cock muncher. I found out the other day that the word ramen uh, stands for uh, tasty dish water. Tasty dish water. Nice. I like the cut of your jib. It's time for for Quentin's quandaries. Quentin's quandaries. Quentin's quandaries. Quentin's quandaries. Quentin's quandaries. We need we need some like really sort of obscure science fiction music when it's Quentin's quandaries. Oh, yeah, can we get that conspiracy music? The X Files opening. This quandary is it's an interesting... I've the had quandary th- Paul came up with the last five minutes. Well, I, I haven't. I've been working on it for a little while, but I, I didn't know whether it was a quandary or not. And I okay. suppose it is really, because um, I've had a couple of really weird experiences All right. recently with yeah. foreign people in this oh. country. Oh, here we go. Good yeah. remember, 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 your good, your good friend Samwise Gamgee is a little bit racist, <laughs> so you can... <laughs> Well, Continue. the thing is, is right. For example, I came home from from a, a night out in town, 
and uh, ordered the cab, got in the cab, and this is he's a typical um, Asian guy. He had the, the hat on. Uh, East Asian or... Clothes on. I'll get, I couldn't Indian. say it wasn't a turban. Oh, Asian or Bollywood Asian? Bollywood Asian, kind of. Okay. Yeah. okay. And he was dressed up, and he had a proper thick, proper yeah. thick uh, Asian accent. Was he A to B? He wasn't driving a BMW, was he? He was A to B, and no, he wasn't. Uh, I don't mind A to B. My sister <laughs> no, no, works there. Right. It's my favourite one. They're pretty cheap. What got me is from town to my house, he didn't stop for a moment going on about all the eastern bloody Europeans in this bloody country taking our jobs <laughs> and and why can't they go home they come and they take off of our benefit system and he's saying all this to, and I'm going right okay and it was quite a surreal journey home because he was really on one for the whole, I wish I'd recorded it he was really wow. having a go about all the foreigners in this country in a thick he was speaking I can't do the accent uh, but proper, I, proper I, I, I know accent. the answer to this and I'm not allowed to talk about it <laughs> But there was th th that then led me on to another incident that happened. Well, I'm, I'm thinking that was strange. Um, the police were called for a disturbance at a shop, a mm -hmm. uh, corner shop, and the report came in that uh, there'd been a kerfuffle. This chap had had an argument in the shop. He'd now left the shop and was going uh, to get a gang of people to come back to the shop to beat them up in the shop. Mm. So the shop owner, who was Chinese, uh, Harrow? Uh, yeah, in Harrow, uh, near Pinner, I think it was. Actually. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not far from Harrow. Did you... <laughs> I'm I just got the joke, okay. <laughs> right, carry on, Paul, carry on. Anyway, um, the, the, the police were called, and the main I thing was, the reason they, they, <laughs> they responded so quickly is it had been a racial <laughs> thing. This guy had come into the shop, there'd been an altercation, and he'd said... You fucking Chinese, you get back to your country, you shouldn't be in my country, you shouldn't be here. Why don't you go back home? We're going to burn you, you know, burn you, you know, to, to death. We're going to go and get, I'm going to get a gang, we're going to come back here. So the police obviously got there quickly, thinking the gang's going to arrive. Why are the Chinese? They, well, exactly. They They're lovely. They spoke the Chinese to the, uh, the Chinese people. people and they said, what happened? The guy would come in for some phone credit. They'd given him a, a, a ticket. He'd gone out, opened the thing and phone credit. gone to use it. Um, and realised he'd got the wrong for the wrong network. So he came back into the shop and said, oh, this is the wrong network, can I change it? And they said, no, you can't, because you've, you've used it, you've opened it, I'm sorry, you've left the shop, if you'd have done yeah. it in the shop, I could have done it. So this guy kicks off. Anyway, the, the police were there, and they said, right, what, what did he look like? And they gave a description of him. And um, <clears throat> they went flying down the streets, and they come across this guy. So they came out, and they said, so, excuse me, uh, you've just been in the shop, blah, blah, blah. It only turns out this guy is an Eastern European, thick European accent, can't speak very good English, and he's saying, yeah, I went in, they wouldn't give me, the, I went back, and they said, no, you can't, and he said, but you were racist, you said, get back to your own country. Yeah, well, they, they, I say that, they should go back, they shouldn't, they have no right to be in England. And uh, I'm thinking, what? <laughs> and this guy, Eastern European, <laughs> and he was East an Eastern, Eastern European, uh, no fixed abode, <laughs> he was sleeping like, um, uh, uh, thingy surfing, what do you call it? Couch, couch surfing. surfing. Couch surfing, yeah. Couch surfing, it's no fixed about I think sofa surfing sounds better. Sofa surfing, yeah. I prefer cunt um, surfing. <laughs> now, my quandary is this. We know, Dan. This we has know. been happening a lot. <laughs> there was a big uh, bust-up in town mm. uh, with the Asians and the West Caribbean, or East uh, Caribbean that's, gangs. That's so weird. In, in my streets, there are two foreign bodies that aren't supposed to be here. Now, there's an awful lot of people in this country that shouldn't be here. I think... How do we get rid of all the people in this country that shouldn't be in this country? Well, you can't. How can you do it? You can't, For example, that's the thing. when someone commits an offence in this country and then they're on a foreign passport, they get arrested and spend six years in our jails. We should just kick them yeah. out. Why don't we say, See, you come from that country, you go back to The problem to is, with, with, with your one, there's, there's no way of tracking exactly how many illegal immigrants yeah. are in the country. There's no way of getting everyone who is, uh, is illegally here See, I thought you were going to say, oh, how, how, how can these people who are all from different countries be there? Because, well, some will be illegal and some won't be. Yeah. Um, what, what the problem is with illegal immigrants is there's, there's no way of recording how many illegal immigrants there really are. No, but when we find them, we detain them. It's because Theresa May is too soft. And we pay for their keep. 
we're co- it's costing the country hundreds of millions of pounds the a year. Is the, the government, the to government, keep foreigners. the government is just too soft on it. They, they don't, they can't, they, they can't decide either way. I think, I think you what amazes I mean? me more is the fact that you've just given me two examples of of people being racist against foreigners in the country, and neither of them were from just from this country, from British people. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, like yeah. when you when you think like racists. In England, EDL. you you EDL. think of EDL people, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you think of people who fly like you know, uh, just the 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 St. England George. flag outside their uh, their gardens, and they yeah. go on marches, yeah. and they they talk about how big of a threat the Muslims are and everything. I think the, and, I think, I think the big difference between that though and being raced towards each other is because because they're foreign, they, but they are legally they are legally allowed in the country. They will presume another foreign person, if they piss them off, isn't legally allowed in the country. That it's the same kind of thing because Peter, Peter is so multicultural, yeah. and every, a lot of people have I, the and at the same to time here. such a shit heap of a, yeah. of a <laughs> town. <laughs> but I have absolutely no qualms with anyone that's in this country. Yeah. They're working yeah. hard, paying mm. their taxes, if they're bringing the con- their kids up, yeah. and everything. If they're legally here, if, and that if they're legally here, and they're doing, they're not being lazy fucks and just living off of benefits, and they're trying to do stuff to actually improve the country. There's no issue of them living here. No. I honestly you know what I mean? think like the only people to blame about this with the illegal entry of, of immigrants is the government themselves. Yeah. yeah. Because if they really yeah. cared, they they would they would stop people coming what into the country. What would you do, Dan, if you were the Prime Minister? I would problem. Put a We've already answered this. I really would. Yeah, I mean cap on it. I yeah. mean we're leaving Brexit, so fuck the rest of Europe. We'd be we'll do our own thing. Yeah. We we're, we're too fussed about making everyone else happy. Why don't we make ourselves happy? Yeah. As, you have strict as, control. As, as I always but hear you say, don't get me home. wrong. I, I, there's these people that have come from really shit environments, mm. Mm. like all over the world. Like you've got children that have like but come I, from war torn countries. Think, like, war even, refugees, even with, re- even with refugees, even with refugees, there still the thing should got be a me, limit. There's that thing. No, right there should be a limit. Don't get me wrong. But, but there's like, that thing. You know the Syrian um, refugees. Mm-hmm. They're only allowed to let women and children through. But when they showed you the picture of them coming through the airport, it was all blokes. Yeah, yeah, all blokes. The government don't give a shit because they're obviously profiting from this somehow yeah. in a monetary yeah. sense. They don't care. If they really cared, then we wouldn't have this problem. If they're not but profiting, I agree they're with Paul. increasing their approval I agree with Paul, if, you, if you're here legally, you're earning your keep, you just want to raise your family in a secure-ish yeah, environment, yeah, yeah. then fair play to you. But if you're here illegally, then fuck off. just fuck off, yeah. I mean, on- how many times do you see these things on TV about um, gang networks and... yeah. Uh, insurance rip-off gangs, and they're all is, they're all yeah. foreign. I it's can't like, think, it's like I that can't insurance think the scam, time. isn't it? Where they they yeah. fake accidents, car yeah, accidents, yeah, throw themselves in front of your car. Exactly. Yeah. I can't think the last time. This sounds extremely racist. I'm thinking it. I can't see the last time. Remember the last time that I've seen like uh, say, oh, we've caught a paedophile ring where the mo- where the members weren't majority. Yeah. Illegal foreign. illegal immigrants. Yeah. 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 I think that is also because the media wants us to see things. So I think mm. the government yeah, and the media, true. they want us to hate foreigners. They, they just they just love the drama. Way. There's a lot of, you know, yeah. and, and they, they, they it's a great cherry way of pick the stories the to put onto the news. Yeah. Just about something less bad. I'm, I'm not saying that only foreign people are pedophiles. Thank you very much. No, no, no. But, well, but, that's, British shit, but yeah. you see on the news and you think then that's what makes you think, oh, maybe yeah. the majority of pedophiles see, are the foreign way, nationals the way I... in this country. Mm. The way I see, if if there's a uh, an old an old boy, he's, he's down on his luck. He's lived in this country for years. His his grandparents and parents fought in the wars and the rest of it. And he goes and nicks something out of a shop, and then gets done for it. He should get done for it. Um, yeah, yeah. You know that, that's no. But if I think someone who's here illegally hasn't been here very long and they try the same thing, want to steal. Yeah. They should, they, get, sh- they should get sent home back yeah, to their own country. Home. Yeah. Yeah. There should be harsh yeah. punishments. Yeah. It's why, it's like when I'm driving as well, going back to like the insurance scandal, it's why I avoid places like Lincoln Road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they just, it's ridiculous. They'll pull out in front of you. Yeah. They'll break sharply. Yeah, yeah. Um, they'll overtake you on a 30 mile an hour. And I just avoid. That's why. Because that's why. That's uh, how many sure. of their cars I mean, are road legal? Uh, this is the, uh, uh, yeah. this is the tripod because, uh, PSA. My, please get a dash cam. My neighbour, he takes his car to this, I won't mention his name, but Polish bloke. And what happens is they take the parts off of their Some cars, bit, yeah. oh, scrap the cars, yeah. and then sell them cheap, and then like fit them for people and stuff like that's that. It's like all kosher, like good parts. Yeah. And that's what they do. They bring over their bangers from like wherever country they come from, take the good parts off it, and just scrap the other bit. Yeah. And that's where he gets his cheap labour from. Yeah. 
And but a lot of these cars, you look at them and think, and they'll do it for cash, not, back of hand. Yeah. Over the, yeah. A lot of the cars, you think to yourself, is it road legal? Yeah. Are they insured? Are they? Because a lot of the time they're not. No. Because they can't afford it. They can't afford the insurance. Well, yeah. to cap off this segment, I'm going to say that get out of England. Illegal immigrants should should be capped and uh, should, should be high, heavily more heavily controlled. Give me the job. Yeah. Damn, um, give give Dan the job and a hand. Minimum in. wage, seven pound fifty. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> cap hour. it off by saying I don't really care whether you're here or not, as long as you're a cool dude and you're as legal. long as you're law abiding. Yeah, as long as you're not a cunt to me. Yeah, uh, then I am more than happy to humour you. You wouldn't expect me to come to no, your country you and shit on your streets, would you? Like a cat. Yeah. Yeah, I don't invite you in my well, house to shit my car. It is carpet. all about respect and tolerance. Yeah, it? it is. Yeah. And I, I feel I am quite tolerant. It's just when people are being assholes, isn't it, really? Yeah, for sure. And it's not, it, regardless of your your ethnicity or nationality, they're, they're, every nationality has got assholes in it. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? For sure. The nature of the human race. Well, that was very, that was very insightful. Let's you know, this on. has been quite an insightful episode. Yeah. It has. What a start to the new year! New year, Robbie. Cunt. New thoughts, new feelings. Um, Bonjourno. Uh, well, oh. this is the end of the first episode of the tripod. It was new short year. and sweet, like someone's love making. Then get out. <laughs> He's the minute man. The He's Venger bus is coming, and man. everybody's oh, jumping. Yeah. We lost four, four two to Nottingham Forest. Oh. Those black and white cunts. We're as strong and stable as a florist. <laughs> Just like Arsene Wenger's coming, and he is a bastard. Anyway, that's the end of the uh, tripod. Thanks for listening, everyone. You're uh, all my sexual wank pheasants. I'm Ashley, also known as Lone Enigma, spelled L-O-N, Free Enigma. I'm uh, a mommy. You can follow me on Twitter and also on on uh, YouTube under the same name. I your, post your trash. Your dad's got awesome taste in music, by the way. Uh, and also... Keep an eye out for my uh, next big project. Cause it's 50 coming Shades soon. of Ash. It's not that, but it's, it's coming Check soon. Check that gash. Uh, Jason. Hello. Time for Jason's really scripted obvious bit. Go, oh, dude. It's me, Jason Gould. You can find me at the YouTube channel, Jason Gould, otherwise known as WizKing27. I post a bunch of random shit on there. It's probably nothing important. Hashtag uh, but if you want to see, if you want to see my more in-depth videos, then you can not really in-depth. They're still kind of shit. You can uh, go to Vault Entertainment, and if you want to watch me playing video games live, then go to Vault Archives, where I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Editor. Now. Is that on Twitch? Your you, uh, no, he streams uh, on YouTube. No, on YouTube. I they probably will start streaming on Twitch soon. Get I need to check out boy. Twitch, to be honest with you, because I've heard there's a lot of good Twi- stuff. Twitch is, good is cool. Yeah, it's it just, is free to sign up. Cool. It. Yeah. yeah, it's the exact same yeah, as YouTube, free, but it's live. It's free to sign up. Okay. Um, and stay tuned, because this year I'm going to drop my, my sick rap album. <laughs> it's going to be great. You're not me. Fuck off. <laughs> and Dan. <laughs> You're right, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounded like if my dad tried to be hit with the kids. Dan, <laughs> dropping my sick rap album. Do your fucking plug, Dan. MC Golden It's going to be banging. Do your fucking plug, Dan. Uh, you could follow me into hell. Okay. Paul? Uh, yeah, if you want to see me uh, doing live games, then you'll have to come around. Uh, to the house where you, where you play uh, chess yeah, well, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring bring a video recorder and uh, yeah if you find me um, let my mum know <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. it's so good to be back oh. <laughs> call your mother she loves you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>